Hello everyone, my name is Artsify, and today we are back with another video for Virtual Hunter, and we're going to do a weapons overview. Today we're starting off with the 303 British. I'm going to show you the settings that I found that works pretty well for me. We go to set, oh, settings, controls. I did take on the virtual stock. I did put my offset to 0 0.5 with civilization of 10, which I found works the best for me, but you're going to have to play around it with your settings to make sure that it works for you. And we are loaded, and oh, oh, and we are ready to go, so actually let's just load up again to 10. There is a pig female around this section. Uh, what makes the 303 special is the fact that you can take down boars and a red deer with it. Unfortunately, the hairs is not on the list, unless the developers add a special ammo type for it. You are stuck with taking on the big animals. Now, also what I found is the effective range for me is about 70 meters to 150 meters if I use the scope and obviously if you can get them in close enough you can actually use the iron sights to take down the pigs as well or the red deer. Again uh, unless you get a hard shot it's not going to be an instant drop so you got to be very careful with, with your shot placement. I see that we actually have some tracks going across here already so there's some pigs should be in this general direction maybe over that way we'll see which way the pigs went. And then I am going to hopefully get a decent shot on it. So again, the 303 for the bigger animals. Very decent. Oh, there we go. So see, there's a rabbit, I think. Yeah, that's probably... Right, there it is. Now that is a European hare. There's two of them actually, but we're not hunting European hares, we are hunting pigs or red deer today. But again, the 303, very decent gun if you know what you're doing with it. I personally do not use it simply because of the fact that I am a bow hunter and I try to use the, uh, the shotgun as much as humanly possible. But again, your mileage may vary. But again, we're just doing a normal overview. We're going to take it low, low and slow again. As always, we're going to see if we can get them. And also, that makes the 303 special is, like I said, with the fact that you can do long-range kills with it should you choose to. But again, your mileage may vary. And also, another thing to note, uh, to get some decent shots, you have to try to get side shots with them with the 303 because it just makes it much easier to take down the animal, and especially if they're standing still. Moving targets, not so much. But again, if a target is standing still at a distance, you've got a decent chance to kill it. And again, like I said, I found active so, uh, active range for getting kill shots is about 70 to 150 meters. And I see some pigs in the distance over there, so let us see if we can actually get a decent shot on them. Unless mistaken and that's not a big and that's just a yeah that's not a big that is definitely not a big that is just a bush so the big should be across that section over there just make sure there's not a little area and again also make sure that you are zeroing for the right distance so you you'll have to go to the target range to like see more or less what the distance is if you don't have the range finder available for you Actually, let's do that real quick. Let's change our binoculars for the rangefinder because the rangefinder is a little bit more important at this time than binoculars when using the 303. So if you do not have the 303, if you do not have the rangefinder, you are going to struggle a little bit. If you do not have it and you want to practice, I would suggest going to the gun range and try and shooting at different, uh, different distances in order to uh, get your zeroing correct. Again, we're just going to go up this mountain hill area, see what we can find, and we will take a shot if it is presented to us. Oh, that's another female. And again, we're just going to take it nice and slow. And I see there's some hair tracks as well. But again, you're not going to you're not going to hunt, be hunting hair. So either uh, wild boars or red deers. Let's 
and see if we can find those pigs. That might be them in the distance there. I see something moving. That is them indeed. So let's try to get them a little bit closer. Let's try and get them in a little closer. And I see there's a European hare there as well. I see there's another one over there. I think. Yeah, that is a European hare. Okay, so there is pigs. Let's try to get them in a little bit closer. And again, we want to try and get some kill shots in as well. I mean, you can maybe try and take down the hare with the 303, but it's not going to count towards a trophy. So, unfortunately, if you do that and you want to make money, it is a good way to make money. But you're not going to get too much. I think you get like $50 per... Uh, per hair that you shoot without the proper ammunition. Mm. Let's just see what we can find. I don't spot them. I do hear them, but I don't see them. Those are European hares, most probably. Both of them. Speaks generally travel in a, a herd. I believe is what you could call them. And then we're just gonna take it nice, no, slow and slow. Trying to call them in and see where they went. And again, guys, you, you're gonna get lucky some days and you're gonna get unlucky the other days. And that's what makes this game fun. Uh, I can stand up a little bit, crouch, and we are just going to check again. Oh, look at that. That is an albino. Okay, so you see we are going to be zeroing for about 150. And that was a drop. I don't really... Oh, and there's a hair as well. You know, just always make sure that your zeroing is correct and we found an albino right off the bat. That is amazing. We actually got it down. That is phenomenal. I don't see a male, so I'm not too too worried about taking that shot. But again, you're going to get some shots that you're going to instant drop and others you're not. That was probably a double lung and a heart. But again, your zeroing is super, super important. So instead of finding a pig, we find an albino. We we'll find an albino. Unless that was a male. It looked like it looks like a male. Oh my word! That is a male albino, guys. That is a male albino. Oh my word! Talk about lucky. But yeah. So basically, just always make sure that your zeroing is correct, and you're good to go. It's a small boy. But it is an albino nonetheless. Look at that. Taking a screenshot of this one. Because good lord, it is beautiful. And we are going to harvest it. Let's see what we got. Oh, and it is also a silver trophy as well. Yeah, double lung. Didn't get, didn't get the heart, but it was a double... Yeah, so also you can... Yeah, so let's... Yeah, let me show you guys what I mean by we can actually use the iron sights as well. So if it gets close enough, we are going to take a shot. Ah, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna waste our time. But yeah, that is an albino, guys, and it is a trophy as well. Taking a screenshot. I'm gonna take another screenshot of just in case. So a trophy. But yeah, just always make sure that your zeroing is correct. And you see with the 150 zeroing, exactly where I aimed is where I shot. But again, just try to always make sure that the animal is standing still because moving targets not so easy to hit. And accept.
And guys, that is going to be the overview for the 303 British. Uh, we are going to do the Magnum 44 Mag next. Uh, I'm going to show you how to hunt with this effectively. But yeah, the 303, not a bad little gun. If you know how to use it, you just have to set it up correctly. Uh, play around with the settings, play around with the virtual stock if you want to. But yeah, but for now, I think that is going to be it. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you like the content. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.